And yes, yeah. as uh, Captain Chris mentioned, you guys are going to assist us in some dolphin research with um, two main responsibilities. One is um, uh, locating the dolphin, so the more eyes the merrier. Keep our eyes peeled, we can have a sighting anywhere from here. And what we've been learning is Seymour, the dolphin we've been looking for, has been typically seen right along these sea walls here. So if you can pop right up the, out of the dock and run into a dolphin here. Uh, after, number two, after finding the dolphins, you're going to help us identify them and figure out which ones they are. And the way we're going to do that is through um, significant markings that are, are going to be unique to each dolphin's dorsal fin. So, um, actually all of their fins will have these little markings on them, but we're going to focus just on the dorsal because that's the one we're going to see every time they surface for air. They're mammals. So, you know, five, every five minutes max, they're going to have to come up for air. Because of the shallow waters, it's usually a one to two minutes. They're popping back up. Um, now, when they're born, we got six new calves in this area, um, nine and twelve. I think, I think we just found a tenth one actually in a, in a different area. So, ten calves so far this this uh, year, which is a record for us. Um, and they're going to be about five months old, about three feet long. They'll be right next to their moms, and we won't be able to tell one from the other. They'll all look identical. Um, we'll only we'll only be able to identify them by the mom that they're with. So as they grow up, especially when they leave mom and they're adventuring off on their own, they're going to start getting these nicks and bites along their fins. And almost all of these markings are actually from the other dolphins. They're going to be very social and. In, they don't have any hands, so the first way you're going to grab hold of one of your buddies is with your teeth. So they're going to be nibbling and scratching each other day in and day out. Most of it is playful and socializing. By doing this, they're all developing their own unique trailing edge of that fin. It's almost like a fingerprint. So all we have to do is get a good photo of the dolphin's fin and we can identify them. And over the last six years, we're just starting our seventh year, every dolphin we come across, we give them a name and a number, put their fin, a close up of their fin, in these catalogs. So when we see them today, um, you guys help us find them. We're gonna get as close as they want us to get, depending on their behavior. We have an iPad linked up to our database where we're just gonna punch in water temperatures, depth, tide, GPS coordinates, um, numbers of dolphins, what are they doing? Are they traveling? Are they chasing fish? Are they playing and socializing? Uh, but most importantly, I got a camera with a nice zoom lens on it. We'll get some good shots of the dorsal fins, print them out, give them to you guys, and you're gonna keep these catalogs handy. We'll be able to match up the fins with the ones in the book. Find out exactly what they're doing. What I'll do is I'll pass out one of these for a little from handy. It's got, also has some good background on the dolphins, some evolutionary history and things like that. So um, keep your eyes peeled, show us out on the water. If you have any questions as we go along, uh, shout them out, we'll do our best to answer. Are we allowed to stand? Uh, when we're moving slow, 